Terry Dwayne Ashford coming in at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, April 14th, here in Washington, D.C., <laughs> George Avenue, uh, on Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me. Just coming in with you, for you, all about you in lieu of an, an extremely, extremely tough day, extremely progressive day, extremely successful day. For your Street Now News, Jick, Terry Dwayne Ashford, we're happy to be able to provide you with the products, the news, the information that we've provided you today. We're going to uh, add our tweet station to the narrative of this broadcast right after we close it out and we want you to uh, make sure you go there as you smooth sail with our music of our backstage I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford all for you Listening to Top of Joe. <laughs> Top of Joe right there on Street Now News. Terry Dwayne with Terry Dwayne Ashford, Street Now News, April 14th, Wednesday. We wanted to come in just to say hello out there. We had a tough day, but we didn't forget about you. We wanted to come and say either good morning, good afternoon. And as, we, as you saw, we didn't make it either one of those two times, so we're coming to say good night, good evening. <laughs> I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. That is how much we love you here at the News. Bye. Street Now News, News Radio with Terry Dwayne Ashford. What we're doing right here, I just want to just uh, say goodnight to you, but as we um, close out our evening, our Wednesday evening, hump day, hump day, hump day is the day, we, um, we just passed the Walmart there at Missouri Avenue and Georgia Avenue. We saw some activity going on. It looked like there was a gentleman outside with five or six police officers um, having a nice little argument their nice spastic argument it looked like something was going on and somebody was going going off there interesting I uh, just wanted to mention that because uh, we all are aware of the um, the sabotages and everything that's happened and, and whenever I see somebody that might resemble me carrying out some activity that's placed in my path 
Sometimes I might think that, okay, wait a minute, let's make sure this is not another sabotage. That's one of the reasons why I'm just sharing that with you guys right there at Walmart at Georgia Avenue and Missouri Avenue. Police had him surrounded, and that was one of the other things that sparked me to go live with you guys because I haven't gone live with you guys all day long. We also have some really good tweet station uh, information for you. We want you to click the tweet station there. Uh, we reference the Tacoma Park incident on yesterday on April 13th. We also did a, a, a video stand up for you that we were not able to get out to you until about 6 p.m. today. Uh, the video stand up was done actually around 2 p.m. Um, but we lost lots of battery juice immediately. It was amazing. I had, had a lot of battery juice when I got started, and then immediately it just zapped out for me as soon as, as, soon as I <laughs> was about to upload the video for you. But uh, it's okay. We got to upload it for you around 6, 6.30. We're there. We're there on the eyebrow, just in case you don't, uh, you're you wondering if somebody sees you. Yeah, we're there. For Street Now News, I'm Terry Dewey Nash. I'm going to take you back to some music right now. I'm going to tell you that one of the reasons why I take you to music as an interlude to the news that I bring you here at Street Now News is because music can be a soother of your soul. It can be a soother of your soul when you see things that you don't like. And you put on your headphones and start listening to music and you feel better. You can, you actually sometimes feel like you can, you can watch it. Sometimes people begin on that you don't get along with as much as you like to. You put on some hip headphones and hear some music slowly uh, where you could hear them too and then you have a conversation and they'd be wondering why you're smiling at them when you, when you was just mad at them <laughs> it's the music you're listening to the music that's why I bring you the music as interlude as interplay to SN News News Radio is a, uh, it's the news uh, segment for That Guy Radio under Wilma Wayne Companies, That Guy Television, That Guy Radio, Tap Media, Communications. And we're proud to bring you News Radio. It brings you news, Street Now News, Street Now Sports, Street Now Tennis specifically, Street Now Adventure. Uh, one of uh, the things I want to mention, uh, I haven't mentioned in a while, was that, re- that huge, beautiful report that we did out the uh, Southwest Waterfront, the pier. Go back and look at that, and that was a very exciting event. You know what? One of the things I remember most about my productions is the activity while the production is going on. I can feel it when I look at it, and I see when I see my work. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk too much. You know, I can talk all day long with you guys. Uh, so I'm not gonna talk all day. I'm not gonna burn your ear, your ear up. I'm gonna take you back to some music. We're gonna close out for today. Uh, time right now is 7.39. We're coming in with you April 14th, Wednesday. Hump day, hump day. It's uh, Wednesday evening, just to say good evening out there. And uh, we're still here. Click the tweet station within the narrative of this broadcast, please. All for you. I continue to tell you who Terry Dwayne Ashford is. And one of our, our news articles that was written for you today, I gave you a little outline of how I attended Georgia State University and getting uh, my degree in journalism there and uh, was majoring in broadcast journalism, was working in broadcast journalism, and then I looked over and I, I realized that I was the editor for a newspaper I was the editor for the Signal newspaper well to me at that time journalism was journalism but it really wasn't because there was a journalism print major there was a journalism radio major there was a journalism broadcast major well I was journalism broadcast 
but I was writing uh, news for the Signal newspaper at Georgia State University. And in addition to all of that, I was also the um, carrying out some uh, assistant programming uh, for the Georgia State University radio station. And all of that was going on at one time, and I, I kind of gave you an outline of some of my career um, experiences in one of our articles today. So we want you to make sure that you click the link on uh, the narrative of this particular broadcast so you can go to the Twist Station and uh, you can read some of that. For Street Now News, I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. By the way, I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. You're in the car, see that guy, and you are now live with us. L-I-V-E Live. We here at Asin News, we appreciate your listening here so much. We don't take it for granted. We value you as our customer. We try not to put any impediments in the way of the information that you are to receive from SN News, Street Now News, and your Jack, Terry Dwayne Ashford, who is also the in the car seat, that guy, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We've made the best out of it. We have the in the car seat, that show. We have the morning talk. We have all this stuff going on. And it's all for you. Closing out, closing out with that uh, gravity base again for you. And, uh, before we close out, we're going to talk a little bit about that uh, that news. You know, we are a news radio station, so let's go ahead and give you the headlines. Some headlines that's gracing the nation uh, today. April fourteenth is the date. Wednesday, you're hearing the voice of Terry Dwayne Ashford. Uh, there's going to be a, a stimulus check, another stimulus check that's going to be coming out very soon. Our ass sends out. Two million more stimulus check. Nearly two million more stimulus check will be dispersed this week as part of the fifth batch of payments. More than two million more stimulus checks were dispersed this week as part of the fifth batch of payments, bringing the total number to is it 159 million? 159 million. And the total amount sent out so far was 376 billion dollars. We are getting this news from a press release from a IRS that was sent to Yahoo Money. So we information uh, there. We are also going to look at the ex-Minnesota police officer to be charged in the Dante Wright shooting. So we talked about, I think that's the same shooting that had the uh, taser pulled instead of the gun, or better yet, the gun was pulled instead of the taser. Well, and so that particular police officer is going to be charged. And let's give you some good news before we close out. Washington Pizza Shop, considered the best in the country. That's some really, really good news. Let's get here some good news. Obsessed with pizza? Well, we have the best pizza uh, here in <laughs> in every state in the state. For Street Now News, I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. I'm going to give you a little bit more information. Actually, we're gonna, we only have about 10 seconds here. But this particular article gives you, breaks down what's the best, best pizza in every state. Uh, written by Kate Singer. March. 20-